Hello, I'm Carl with Frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tune your piano. I have been doing this for about two months now. This is, once again, my $25 Craigslist piano. Been having fun with it. Hopefully this will help you out. Uh, I'm showing you what I have learned over the last two months and also what uh, Piano Tuner showed me. It's not too difficult to do. I'll show you the steps and you can take it for what it's worth. Hopefully it'll help you out. Here we go. Alright, now on the lower end of the piano here, you will see right in here that there is only one string per note. And then as we move up, there's two strings per note. And as we get up higher again, there are now three strings per note in this area. Uh, depending on the piano, there will be up to 250 strings from what I've been reading. So it is a bit of a process to tune the whole piano, but I'll take you through the steps here and you'll see. Uh, it shouldn't take you more than about two hours to do the whole piano. So I have three tools that I need. The first one is called a mute. It's just a little rubber wedge that I can stick in between the strings to mute out the strings that I don't want to hear. There's a tuning hammer, which I bought off Amazon. I also bought the mute off of Amazon. I think I got the tuning hammer for about $25. It's a cheap one. If you want to get into the business, you're probably going to want to get a little, little more expensive one. This one actually, when it when it fits on the pin, it has a little bit of slop in it. I'm not too happy with it. Uh, if I keep doing this, I am going to get a, a better hammer because this is just a little, little sloppy. So a hammer, a mute, and then a laptop, which I have some software on it, some free software called AP Tuner. Uh, the person who developed that software makes it available for free, but he also would like to get some income from it too. If you use it and you're happy with it, it would be a good idea to support him. And I think it's $35 that he wants for the for the uh, for the software I have found that this is the best software out there so far for piano tuning I've, I've tried a bunch of them some of them want lots of money this one is fairly obviously fairly inexpensive so here we go uh, I'm going to start with this note here the lowest note on the on the upper register of strings and so what I'm going to do is take my mute and stick it in between the right two strings here so it's going to be muting out the middle and the right string and then the left string is the only one that we're going to be hearing so when I strike this I look at my laptop and I can see that we're about four cents low on that note. So I'm going to put my hammer on here and raise it up just a little bit. Now you may not even hear this. The software on the laptop is pretty, pretty precise. Okay, there we are. That's right on. So now if I take this mute out, you can hear the little warble where the left string is in tune and the, the, the right two strings are not quite in line with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this wedge or this mute uh, so it's it's just muting out the rightmost string and then I'm going to adjust the center string. Now I'm not looking at the laptop, now I'm just listening. And if you listen really close you can hear there's kind of a warble in the sound 
and sometimes it's it's easier if you take it way out of tune and then bring it in and then when when it's in tune when it's perfectly in tune you're not going to hear that war warble and it's going to sound really nice and bright that's the easiest way to describe it okay so now our center center string is in tune and now I'm going to remove the mute and there's that warble sound again and now I'm going to adjust the rightmost string and there we are that note is now in complete tune with where it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to move up to the next note. And boy, that's out. You can hear that right off. That is not in tune. Alright, so now I'm going to mute the, the right two strings again. And it's just going to be the left string that we hear. And this is F sharp 3. And that is actually right in tune. So it's got to be, it's got to be one, okay, it's the middle string it sounds like that's out. So now, again, I just try and bring it up so that that warble goes away. the rightmost string that I need to bring into, into adjustment. And I went over, and now I'm under, and there we go. Now that string is in perfect tune and I look at the laptop and it's right on the money. So I will show you I will show you what this software looks like on the laptop. This is AP tuner that I'm going to be using to tune the piano. So I'm going to show you how this works, how this looks. I'm going to put my mute in between the middle and the right string now again. Oops, wrong note. So this is G sharp 3. As you can see, it shows you very nicely up in the upper left corner. Now, this will, you play any note on the piano and it'll show you what it thinks that note is. Now you, you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know what your notes on the keyboard lo look like. So here's C3, C2, C1. Now the object is to get these all to be right at zero. So this one is off. This one's off by 6.8 cents. This one's off by 7.8 cents. Here's the one that I just tuned. Right on the money. Look at that. That's sweet. Okay, so so I've got my mute in between the center and the upper string. 
So I'm just going to be tuning the left, the left string, and it's off, off by eight cents there. My voice is, is actually messing up the AP tuner here. Okay, that's a little high. That's uh, pretty close to perfect right there. Now I take my mute and I stick it so that I'm just muting out the rightmost string and adjust the center string now. There it is. And now we'll take the mute out and adjust the rightmost string. perfect tune. And then we can move on to the next string. Now, uh, typically what you would do is start all the way on the very low end and work all the way up to the very high end. If your piano is completely out of tune, uh, you may need to go through and do this twice or maybe even three times. I would give it a day in between, that's what I've read anyway, that you want to do. Uh, give it a day or maybe even a week in between tuning so that you can let the, let the string settle out a little bit if it's, if it's really out of tune, if it's really bad. So I'm Carl with Frugalberry.com. Thanks for joining us. Hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any more questions, you can find some more information at Frugalberry.com. If you're looking at this on YouTube, there's a link below. Check it out. Go in peace.